good day uh, Srinath. Now today we are going to talk about your pet subject, uh, table tennis. And you are, there is nobody else but you who knows the subject and who's the, who knows the background about uh, uh, table tennis and how the pub, pulse of uh, table tennis. Right. So tell me, uh, Srinath, what do you think of the present situation of uh, uh, table tennis at the moment? Right. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Bali, for having me. Uh, actually, uh, recently, table tennis has gone through certain changes in the, in the local arena. Telling you, but in the, actually, in the international arena and the ITF also, they have done so many changes, structural changes, uh, and changes in the tournaments, how the matches were conducted, and all. So, uh, and the rules were uh, changing time to time. So, in Sri Lanka, what has happened? Uh, because of the COVID, we had a vacant period from March last year. But now we have started everything again, uh, and uh, now what we going to see like we have uh, future development plans, uh, short term and long term. So now we are going to execute them. Uh, recently we have implemented uh, several programs. As an example, the high performance development program. We are selecting players for that, uh, targeting 2022 uh, Commonwealth Games, uh, and also we are targeting for uh, 2032. Olympics later on, but for the Youth Olympics and the Asian Games and the Lusifonia Games and also uh, Island Games, uh, we are targeting to send our good players and good teams to succeed. Yeah, but but uh, talking about uh, your future plans, right. now I uh, uh, take one step back to the uh, SAF Games. Okay. Yeah. 9th, uh, 2019. Now, I found that uh, while watching them in action, uh, that your your players were rather uh, how can I put it, uh, struggling against uh, players from uh, India, uh, from Nepal, and even Bangladesh uh, uh, and uh, Maldives. So now, how do you think that we will? Uh, compete in the big stage uh, right. successfully. Yeah, and that's a very, very good question. Actually, uh, in 2019, uh, SAF was an eye opener for us. Uh, and uh, we have done so many changes after that now, like four, one and a half years. Uh, the, the main reason for that, I thought, like, uh, we didn't have a proper pool which was conducted throughout the year. And also, there was no junior development programs at that time. I'm talking about before 2019. And also there were no proper coaches like the national coaches were not appointed at that time. So that the biggest table tennis in other countries and throughout the world, now we are implementing so many techniques, new technologies, new practicing methods and all. So we have to upgrade ourselves time to time. But it wasn't happen at that time. But now we have understood what was the problem at that time. So now we are going to the So what what is the school? I mean structure. I talk. Tell me about from the schools how it comes uh, to the top level. Yeah, actually we uh, in our association TTSL is the main body, but most of the TT players are from the school section. So in the schools there are so many stages to develop the students. Actually our school system for the table is really good. Really good. Uh, the recently there were certain changes with the government uh, in the constitutions and all because under 10 and 12 players were not allowed to play for the competitive level. So now they have to play for the carnival level. So, so but the practicing and how the coaching has done in the school level is uh, satisfactory. I mean, t tell me about how, how. Yeah, so after the school level, what has happened? Like they have to go for the uh, the junior national championship. The transition from school to exactly. club. Yeah, no, no. Actually, at school level, they have to pass to the junior nationals. Mm -hmm. Then, after the junior nationals, if they are in the national spot, like they have to practice and go for the, the trials. After the trials, they can pass with the uh, mm -hmm. international games. Yeah. But after that, what we have, like, uh, and then the club uh, forms, because mm -hmm. after the school level, they have to join a club or either they have to play by their own. As a 
the per person who coaches them yeah. and their per person the individual player exactly so then they have this national championship mm-hmm. and we have every year uh, for last 5 years we have conducted four open ranking tournaments for all island open ranking tournaments and the nationals five tournaments which are uh, the ranking tournaments where the players should participate and they will have their ranks according to that so how do you no that is how you but coaching how how strong is your coaching structure yeah that that's uh, that's always we can see that uh, uh, one of the lacking part of our uh, whole structure because uh, there are school coaches uh, and the club coaches and individual coaches there are many and there is a coaching association as well uh, but the thing is when it comes to the international standards which is given by the ITF we have like uh, level 1 level 2 level 3 and the high performance level for the coaches we have only six only six coaches who have succeeded the level 3 and qualified for the high performance standards so that is not a thing that we can uh, yeah happy be happy about right mm-hmm. so we have we have to have more qualified coaches more programs to qualify them and participate them for the coaching camps and all so now we are have structured certain things and we try to send our coaches for national uh, the international coaching camps to like make them more qualified i mean coach the coach exactly. program to uh, exactly so actually we have uh, certain programs in the local level to uh, we have initiated last year few programs and nowadays also we are conducting a program online program for the coaches all around the country uh, to give them uh, the knowledge that they don't have as an example they don't know like how we can create a high performance player because they know how to coach the techniques how how we can put the ball to the other end they know that but creating a person who can compete in the international arena is something else we understood that so because of that now we are giving them the total the i call it like holistic understanding of coaching to understand the player understand his nutrition understand his physical capacity and the endurance and how we can develop him into the next level so finally i'll ask you yes. now what is your what is your short term and long term goals to to transform the game of table tennis in sri lanka to the level that you right you you liked it to be yes and how how we <laughs> should be in the to be competitive in the uh, uh in the big stage right right so yeah that, that's a very good question and uh, actually we have two plans as you said right for the short term and the long term plans the in the short term plan we are focusing on 2022 and uh, 2023 24 Right. We, especially the Commonwealth Games, we are planning and we are making a squad for that uh, with the help of the, the Ministry of Sport nowadays. And the, in the long-term plan, we have five se- sections: uh, the player development, coach development, infrastructure development, financial uh, viability of the player development, and the, the education, the coach education, player education, and the association level the administrative stuff and education. So I think we uh, we have the plan for five years uh, and the long term plan for ten years. So I think like this is the start, just the start. Because I, I, as I told you in 2019, uh, SARS was the eye opener for us. And after that, like we could not have many international games due to the COVID. Uh, but I think now we are at the right time. We have implementing those stuff. We had already initiated our plans. Now we are. In the run, <laughs> in the the process of uh, transforming. Exactly. Okay, right. Thank you, I'll uh, say, Srinath, uh, uh, and I hope that all your uh, endeavors will be su- will be successful. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Papi, for giving me this opportunity, and the National Olympic Committee for giving us this. Thank, thank you so much.